Good morning, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Thank you so much for just spending a couple of minutes of your day with me as we just dedicate another day to the Lord. Our steps are, are they're already set before us. The, I forget exactly how the Bible words it, but it says something like, Our footsteps are preordained before the Lord. When, when you are living your life to please Him and not yourself, when, when your heart is, is right, when your thoughts are right, when you want when you want nothing to do but to just live for the Lord and and just reach the lost along the way and keep preaching and witnessing and sharing and more sharing and more witnessing and less preaching. I mean, you know that's that's the thing I'm learning is that we live in a very, very dark, dark world. And I'm talking spiritual darkness. If you do not understand God's plan, then, then I really, you know, in the, in the most humblest, most sincerest, the most kind, the, I mean, how, how do you, like, how do you urge somebody without sounding bossy or, I mean, how do you, how do you urge somebody how important it is that they know that a Savior has died for them? when there's so I believe that the, the reason why the world is so spiritually dark is because they don't know that they're jewels that belong in the precious hands of the most high God and so I just feel sometimes that you know, this earth is just so full of God's glory that this earth is so full of God's jewels. Uh, I feel like a robber came and took, you know, one of God's treasure chests and just scattered it all over this world. And so... You know, these little diamonds and these little pearls and these sapphires and these onyx and, um, you know, these little golden trinkets, they're all scattered here. And, and it's me and you and it's every believer. But you know what? It's not just the believers, it's the non-believers too. Because, I mean, I don't know about you, but have you ever gone metal detecting? And have you ever heard that thing do a beeping sound? And so you got to dig. You got to dig a couple inches. You know? I mean, and at first, you're going to think, well, what's this? It's just a rock. But once you begin to spend time with it and listen to your heart, that's when the Lord begins to speak to you and say, you know what, don't go walking away from this person until you spend some time with them. Spend some time with this person. And you might not like them at first. You know, just like this dirt thing that you find. You know, you gotta polish it. You gotta, you gotta dig a little bit deeper. You know, it's 
just like those bone people. What are they called? Anthropologists? See, and, and that's, that's how I feel. Once you find God's hidden treasure, you got to be careful because some of these people in life are so fragile. You don't know where they've been from. You don't know where they come from. You don't know how far they've traveled to arrive on your shore. And when you find something, when you, you know, when the Lord gives you another, another friend in life or another person that you just met and, you know, and you see them all the time at church or you see them all the time at a certain Bible study, you know, I, I firmly, seriously believe that we need to start sharing how we got to know Jesus. And not to share how we got to know Jesus and what Jesus helped us overcome, what Jesus helped us, you know, you know, how to do life, how to change a bad habit, how to turn over a leaf in our life, how to turn that next chapter. Some people can be stuck in something that happened to them. You, 20, 30 years ago. They don't know it's 2016. You know, some people have been in a dark spot in their life and they just don't know how to get out. And then they meet you. We each have talents. Your talent might be to sing, it might be to witness, it might be to share, it might be just smile and give someone else a hug. It might be somebody at work, you've been working with this person for the last five, six years, and you just, you don't like this person, they've got a weird sense of humor. Every time you hear them talk, every time you hear them laugh, I mean, you just want you just want to turn around and go the other way. You know what? That is who the Lord wants you to say good morning to. That person probably has a spirit of of isolation where they don't they don't even know that Jesus loves them. You know, some people are, some people just, you know, they talk so much because they, they don't know somebody, they, they don't know that, that they're loved. I believe that we're living in the days right now where people need to know they are loved and it's okay for them to be them. It's okay. You know, so many people are so tired of being judged. And so many people, you know, they just don't even want to say anything because they're, they're, they're so afraid of being judged. They're being told to shut up. They're afraid. They, they don't. It's almost like people are living in this world and they just don't have any more feelings left. You know, almost like the Lord gave them a hundred feelings and every single feeling's been hurt, been broken, been thrown in the trash. Sometimes you meet people where it just seems like, you know, the lights are burning bright, but nobody's home. You know what? The lights are burning way bright and there is somebody home, but, you know, they're probably out in the yard somewhere. <laughs> They're probably just not in the house. <laughs> you know, can you tell somebody that they're loved? Can you tell somebody they're a precious tool? Can you just, in this dark world, be one of God's shining jewels and tell somebody in this dark world that they are loved? And that's the message today. Because the shiner, 
the the shiner you bright, the brighter this world's gonna shine for Jesus. Have a blessed day. You're so loved. We're God's treasures. Love you. Bye.